He led the Eastern Conference guards in fan voting. That was 50%. Players, 25%. Coaches, 25%. And that was just officially announced just moments ago. They've gone to a zone. So, and one of the things you got to do, you got to be able to make that shot. Yeah. Because you'll get it the way they play it. It's almost like a 2-2-1. Against the zone, McConnell to the corner to Shepard. Oh, good move. Really good move. Oh, that's a heck of a play for 6'10. And again. And Shepard has it. Lays it in. That's another turnover forced by Miles Turner. That one? Oh, is that offensive? Oh, Morris, really, Rick, the ball with such energy. Two, you're taking the ball potentially out of the net, and you cannot run. Jalen Smith starts the second quarter. He was there for the rebound, but tipped away by Springer into the hands of Paul Reed. Here into the hands of Paul Reed, who backs up Embiid. He's on the floor now. Batum has always been a good three-point shooter, but misses. Into the corner. What a great three. pass. The first pass really gives you a shot. Final meeting of the year, 76ers and the Pacers. Maxie got Shepard in the air and scores in a foul. Shepard usually does a really good job being defensive. Pacers have gotten great production out of that position. Beverly is fouled and count the basket. What Beverly is trying to do is counteract this really good physical presence. Second field goal for McConnell. Beat against Matherin. Shepard the rebound. They run it by Reed. Smith out of NC State, 21 years old, and there's another foul going to the rim. That basket by McConnell allows this group to stay on the floor. And yeah, the way the night goes, and we'll monitor the fourth quarter, you would love to not bring Tur uh, Turner and Siakam back. Shepard for three. Oh. In just his third NBA game, he had come in with one point, a double-figure game for the first time in his career. This is a, this is a really good victory. Uh, and not only just because it's a victory, that was always good, but from a psychological standpoint, having struggled a little bit with tie-off 